connecting. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Uh, so I'll call our um, Town of Nantucket Scholarship Committee meeting to order open session Thursday, July 23rd, 2020. Um, before it's called to order, sorry. Um, Chrissy, you can guide me <laughs> if needed. <laughs> <coughs> So I'll identify and confirm all members are present and can be heard by roll call as I see you. Um, Christy Ferrantella? Here. Lee Saperstein? Here. Jean Miller? Here. Maggie Detmer? Here. Leslie Forbes? Here. Thank you. Now I read the introduction? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this open meeting of the Town Scholarship Committee on July 23rd, 2020 is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth given the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. The order, which you can find posted on the town's website, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless this participation is required by law. This meeting is convening by Zoom as posted on the meeting agenda, identifying how the public may join. For Zoom meetings, please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other participants may be able to see you and that Take care not to share screen, to share your, your screen, share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Um, all supporting materials that have been provided to members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. Um, I, the chair, Janet Duar, will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any responses, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage with other members in discussion, please do, do so through the chair taking care to identify yourself. Uh, after members have spoken, the chair will afford public comment as follows. Is that, I don't know that that's applicable to us. I will ask to be identified um, public commentators call by name. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. So with that, still don't see Mike here. We can go into executive session and then we could send an email to Mike, just let him know that we're in the other Zoom. Okay. Um, so I'll make a motion to go into executive session for the uh, reasons Chris, stated. Chris, yeah. Chris, this is, this is late. At our last meeting in open session, we discussed budget. And I think budget is fair game for open, but I leave it to you as former chair and Jana uh, as chair. Uh, we did see the email that said that existing accounts were slightly lower than what we had uh, agreed upon. But they also said that the last interest payment had not been um, credited to the account. So does anybody have the latest information and is uh, the sum that we uh, agreed on reasonable? Leslie, go ahead. You got to unmute. Hopefully I'm on now. I noted that the Curly Fund was down by $828. So I, uh, I put forth the idea that maybe we re reduce, if we wanna keep the fund level, uh, could we reduce the grant to $1,500? Uh, 
that's still, um, we would be decreasing the fund by 300. This is prior to any interest having been posted, but it would be a level, I think it'd be pretty close to level funding that fund. Um, so if, uh, if we want to keep it level, I, that I would recommend that we reduce it to 1500. If we think, why not spend the money? Let's keep it at two. Let me just double check. I'm not sure if it's meant to be 2000 every year by the family that um, sponsors this. Sorry, I'm just trying to look at my computer at the same time. Christy, while you're looking, can you remind me, I know that last week you pulled up um, a screenshot or shared your screen with um, the guidelines for Curly. It seems my recollection is that there's something about it being a native Nantucketer. Is that true or not true? Am I misremembering? Um, here, I'm going to share my screen. Hold on. Nothing about it having to be 2000. That's just what we've always done. Hmm. It's not stated. No, no, it's not. Oh, yes. Preference will be given to a person born in Nantucket. Oh, yeah. Preference. Yep. Yeah, for that, but not right. Um, right. the amount. Right. Okay. Hmm. Um, would you like me, to, uh, is there a discussion or you want me to make a, do you want me to move something and then we can vote yes or no? Can we, I don't know, Chris, if you can remind, I'm not, I don't remember, I don't even know if I've ever known, how, how was it funded? How the... Jean, do you remember? I don't. It was just the family, I, we've just been working down on this initial, initial... Right. Donation. There have been no additions to it, as far as I can remember, as long as I've been on this committee. It's just been a fund that's been slowly moving down. Hmm. It's just interest, whatever right. interest it generates. Exactly. As far as I, know. I don't know. I don't know how you guys. Um, what, I'm sorry. I Yep, I'm just talking freely, not like I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go through the chair. That's okay, I know, it's tough. I just, um, I just think giving anything less than $2,000 might be, you know, a challenge for anybody. And if anything, we were trying to increase the amount of money that these kids receive. Um, 2000 pays for so little in today's college tuition fees, books, world. So I would hate to see it reduced. That's all. Yeah. Um, I kind of feel the same. I don't know if it should be short, shorter this year, but it's something we can discuss after this year for next year or see how it's funded. Or, I mean, I don't, I don't know the jurisdiction of the family and how they would feel about it. This, this, this is Lee, uh, just weighing in. I like Jean's comment and if it ends up at $2,000, if it ends up going um, into the hole, I think later in the fall, we should work with the finance office to find ways to transfer money into the account um, to make it whole, whether it comes out of the town scholarship accounts or whether, <laughs> whether we make a solicitation or indeed whether we contact the family. But let's not deprive this year's recipient um, of needed money. All right. Uh, interrupt. Um, Mike says he's waiting to be let in by the host. No, he's saying he's waiting for the host to start the meeting. So I think he's in the wrong one. In the private. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he went straight to executive. So we should probably join him. <laughs> well, okay. I don't know. I would, how, I'm not the, sure how to handle it. For the purpose of minutes, I would like to move that we maintain the funding at two thousand dollars and dis and if the fund declines more that we um consider declining grants later and then that would be recorded in the minutes so that when we look at the minutes <laughs> six months from now we'll know we'll remember what we said 
I will remember what we said. I'll second that motion. You like that motion? Okay. And, and um, John, I'm happy to second that. Okay, thank you. So I'm sorry, I was kind of trying to mess with trying to get Mike in here. So my motion is to maintain the Curly grant for $2,000 uh, for this, uh, for FY, what are we in? FY 20, uh, for FY 21, I believe. Yeah. And reconsider uh, the amount if needed in the, a lower amount if needed in the future. Okay, so that's, <laughs> you've got your motion yes, seconded by Lee? Yes. Okay, so by roll call vote, uh, Christy Ferrantella? Aye. Lee Saperstein? Aye. Jean Miller? Aye. Maggie Detmer? Aye. Leslie Forbes? Yes, aye. Aye. Jana Duart, the chair, votes aye. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um. So, Gianna, we still have the question of how much money we're going to distribute for the main body of scholarships. But we can move to private and then announce that at the end. Go ahead, Christy. Um, looking at the balances, I'd still feel comfortable with the 41000 that we had discussed last week. Um, given that we had raised 38,000, almost 39,000 this year. So we pretty much raised everything that we gave away last year. I agree. And do we think that we'll have just as many um, recipients this year? Since our discussion was to not fund freshmen this year, we might actually have less. So. I say, I say we keep it as a placeholder of 41,000 to distribute. And then once we have the number of people we want to award, we might, maybe we'll do less or maybe people will get more than $1,000. I thought the number was 43, not 41,000. Am I mistaken? We gave out a total of 43,000, um, but that included the curly. Ah, okay, got Not it. Sure. Um, well, the minutes from last year, July, says that we gave 43 plus the curly. Yes, it does. I can correct them. Okay. So I'm not sure, you know, as far as the agenda, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter to me because uh, this all has to be done in open session. So we can do it now or we can get into an next session and come back to this. Um, you want to, do you want to continue on with the open session with the minutes as the agenda states? That we have to approve the two sets of minutes that you sent? If Mike is actually waiting, I think we should probably go into executive session. Yeah, Jean, we'll approve, approve the minutes when we come back into open session. Okay. And now I think I'm afraid he's going to try to come into this. Right, <laughs> he's going to be gone. Let's email him. Oh. I'll make a motion to go into executive session for the reasons stated on the agenda to return back to open session at a later time. A second. Thanks, all those in favor by roll call as I see you. Christy Ferrantella. Aye. Lisa Aberstein. Aye. Jean Miller. Aye. Maggie Detmer. Aye. Leslie Forbes. Aye. And myself, Jana Duarte, the chair, votes aye. See you on the other Zoom. So we all go out and come in, right? Okay, see you soon. Wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you use the right ones. <laughs> I'm the one who's going to need the luck. <laughs>